Welcome to my office or welcome to my home. So I heard you're working from home. I mean, honestly, minus the, um, the quarantine hair, which a lot of people are experiencing right now, working from home can actually be pretty enjoyable. Um, you're either very excited about it or you're like, no, I don't know what to do. Or yay, I get to work from home at limited coffee. Yay, working, wear my shorts or pajamas. While there are a lot of merits to working from home, such as avoiding traffic, unlimited coffee, and like I said, working in your pajamas, some people might not be very or entirely comfortable with that idea. A lot of people are wondering where they can actually work from home. I mean, what if you don't have an office? What if you don't have a desk? Before you start shopping for desks, there are ways to actually be or stay productive while in a home environment. You don't have to have a dedicated office, maybe not just yet, or even a dedicated desk. In this video, I want to share with you a mobile setup, something that you can pretty much just pick up and move almost anywhere and how I would make this mobile setup uh, to be an ideal workspace, at least for me, because obviously when you're working from home, you still want to be in that right mindset, that right um, working environment. I'll be sharing with you some tools that I use personally to make my days a little bit more effective and productive. So let's get right onto it. If you're working on uneven surfaces, a desk pad might be a great idea. Think of it as a bigger mouse pad. I'm using a leather one made by Delancey, which you can find on Amazon. Since I'm using a laptop, I'm using Grove Mate's Maple Laptop Stand. This brings the screen up to eye level, which is just perfect. Now there's a lot of different options for laptop stands out there, but my favorite is by Grove Mate because of the quality and craftsmanship. And since the laptop is on a stand, I need to use a Bluetooth keyboard. This one made by Satechi. Bluetooth connection is strong and reliable and the key travel feels really good and actually satisfying. For the mouse, I'm using my all time favorite, which is Logitech's MX2S mouse. Customizable buttons and ergonomically designed. Honestly, even at this price point, you're getting much more in terms of efficiency and usability. I'm looking at you, Apple. So a second screen is necessary for me. In this case, I'm using Apple's sidecar feature with the iPad Pro. It connects wirelessly and works just like a secondary monitor would. When sidecar was first introduced, connection was a bit spotty, but over the recent updates, I haven't had any issues with it. The connection is smooth and seamless. Now, depending on your needs, you might want to consider a USB hub, such as this Pro Hub adapter by Satechi. This gives me two USB-C and two USB-A ports, as well as a mini and micro SD card slot. Very useful when I'm editing photos or maybe just connecting a portable hard drive. Speaking of hard drives, they're fairly inexpensive nowadays. It's a good idea to have one just for backups. One of the most useful tools for staying in focus are a pair of headphones. Aside from keeping you entertained or relaxed, it can drastically reduce environmental distractions. For this, I'm using the Bose QC35-2s because of the noise cancellation and comfort. You don't have to buy these products specifically. There are a ton of different options out there that can meet your budget. But just in case you're interested in any of these, I'll leave the links in the description down below. While these are the most essentials to me, I decided to add two bonus items in this video as a suggested tool for your portable workstation. The first one is this PD charger by Satechi. It's especially useful if you're in a part of the house that has limited electrical sockets. You can charge your other devices without taking up any more of your laptop's ports. The second one is this very affordable lap desk by Nomodo. You can use it while sitting down on the couch or on the floor, and it even doubles up as a tablet stand. Working from home can actually be very productive and beneficial for your own health and just your, I don't know, your mental state. Then again, the loneliness and isolation can get to you, but that's an entirely different topic. Not for this video. 
But anyway, thank you for watching. I hope I've given you some ideas or maybe a little bit of inspiration. So your working environment doesn't have to be boring, doesn't have to be completely bare. You don't have to purchase any of these. I mean, these are just suggestions and definitely do shop around. There's a lot of other options out there when it comes to like um, laptop stands and desk pads or desk mats or any other peripherals or accessories that you might want to include depending on your workflow. This particular one works for me, for my type of work. So like I said, hopefully I've given you some ideas. Thank you again for watching. And if you are working from home right now, please do take care of yourself. Always remember, take breaks, uh, take lots of them if you can. Like mini breaks throughout the day will really definitely help you. And please try to not binge too much on Tiger King.